Cultivate is a three-year mentoring program funded by Esme Fairburn Foundation, and it's a mentoring program for disabled visual artists. It's trying to address a huge inequality. Obviously, all visual artists, when they leave college or at any time in their career, they feel a void that they could do with support. But I think there's very pertinent issues for disabled visual artists. The vacuum that they work in, the isolation, Really, I think the key thing that Cultivate's about is trying to counter that isolation so that those artists are supported and can look at their career and how they want to develop it. On one hand, all of the mentees will say, I'm an artist, but all of them face barriers that make it harder for them to make their art or get their art out into the world. In the last seven years, disabled people's lives have become harder and harder. The consequences of that would be felt by all of the mentees on the programme. We've seen from the work that Cultivate has done, artists who have approached their practice in a slightly different way. It's expanded their perspectives, their horizon, the mental scrutinising the practice in a vigorous way. Crucially, getting under the skin of the practice, really thinking about where is the opportunity for development. That's what Cultivate's about, really. It's looking at what the opportunities are and where a practice could go. I was at university. I was in my third year, and I was just looking online, doing a bit of research into disabled arts, and I saw an advertisement for the mentoring sessions, so I applied. Because I was the only disabled person at uni, I was quite isolated and the lecturers didn't have any inkling of what was available, what I should be looking at, what I should be researching. So my work was struggling a little bit. I had these great ideas, but I wasn't doing any of it because I didn't have the confidence to do it and I didn't feel I could do it. And they were like, just get on with it, just do it. <laughs> and I think it just changed my whole outlook of what I could do. Because I'd not only kind of isolated myself from the peers at university, but I kind of isolated myself from other people with disabilities. I never thought the programme would involve learning disabled artists because I had a very traditional view of mentoring, of it being a conversation about you as an artist, and it felt that the sort of intellectual process wouldn't suit learning disabled artists. And then thank God for Tanya Rabel Weber because Tanya came along and she introduced learning disabled artists and worked out how to adapt the mentoring to suit them. And that's brilliant because it could have been exclusive. It could have excluded those artists. And in fact, I think there's seven or eight learning disabled artists who've been through the mentoring. Many of the artists that we've got that are based in the art studio want to develop their skills and their practice. I think in terms of working with learning disabled artists or neurodivergent artists, I think the key is to really kind of let the artists do what they do best and then see where there are gaps or whether there are places within their practice that could be taken in a new direction, which then helps them to develop artistically and as a human being. The strength of Cultivate is that people in unusual situations get put together to talk and that can only be an enriching experience for both. The pool of mentors are all very different and have an amazing range of skill sets and so in pairing specific people up, gaps get filled. When a mentor fills that gap, the progress becomes really quick. The thing that's made it really meaningful for me primarily has been the fact that I've been allowed to talk about my work. I was at the place when we started talking where I felt like I wasn't able to speak to anybody. It's the fact that somebody's valued you as an artist and said, yes, we would like to support you in your practice. That was a huge thing. And then it's also the individual relationships that you're able to cultivate with your mentor that is also pretty vital. To make the disability a non-subject, to move that out of the way and then see what we are as artists, is a really powerful thing. I want to be known just as an artist, but I'm happy in other circumstances to promote certain events as a disabled artist. A lot of my artwork is about my disability, so in that sense it's important because it affects everything I do on a daily basis. But yeah, I don't want my disability to define me because it's not everything I am. It's great to be able to pass on your experience and contacts that you know about. It's also amazingly useful as a mentor and at least half of the process benefits yourself as well as hopefully the mentee. One of the things we noticed that difference that Cultivate was making was 
two years ago when we did a call out for artists for the commission at the quad normally when we do these call outs we might get seven or eight applications and we had something like 30 and there was about eight or nine mentees of the program applied none of them got it but that wasn't the point that was what the program was about actually giving you the confidence to go and apply for something and if you don't get it, it doesn't matter you've actually gone through the process and you've learned something from that The impact of the work that DASH do and the Cultivate programme does in terms of the wider impact is to address issues of mental health as well as physical ability which is often overlooked or under-considered. Therefore, investing in a social good results in potentially better well-being which takes pressures off other areas of society. I've had friends say to me, I'm a different person now to what I used to be, I'm much more confident. If I want something, I'll go and do it, I'll go and get it. I don't let the disability hold me back as much as I used to. Finished my degree and then went on to do my Masters. Went on residency, I was part of the New Art West Midlands, and none of that would have happened without the mentorship. I didn't have the confidence to put myself forward for exhibitions and that's been a huge thing for me and I've curated exhibitions with other artists now. One opportunity has just led to another opportunity and none of those things would have happened if I hadn't have taken part in Cultivate. As a group, disabled artists are very fringe and I think the more we fight back and the more we support each other, the more we'll gain a place in the mainstream. I can't tell you enough how profoundly that first mentoring session changed my practice and how I felt about myself and the work that I was making. 